already in Nye County, Nevada in March, the county commissioners passed a resolution saying we're not using electronic voting equipment. It seems to me that that's just the way to go. It's Because I'm doing my district. Mm -hmm. This is rough math. We have 30,000 people in my, 33 in my house district. I'm guessing 20,000 of those people will vote. I mean, I think it's 30,000 voter, eligible voters, maybe 20,000 vote. I believe we have eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, about 15 precincts. So if you have 20,000 votes, 15 precincts, that's 1,300, give or take, votes per, per precinct, even say 1,500. Um, I don't think it takes that long to count 1,500 ballots. If you have two dozen people, and I would think it would be no problem to find that. It would probably, like you said, it would, I would think be, end up being less expensive than the voting machines. It's, it's, an, it's a real-time audit. If you, you know, I mean, there's always this chance that people come in saying they're a conservative, they're really a Democrat. I mean, there's, problem, there's ways to cheat with paper too, right? That's right, and so it's about minimizing the fraud, right? So if, if right now people and computers can cheat, but we're trying to remove the computers now, there's, them. There's, now we're minimizing the fraud. And, and in the case of that paper counting where there's two election judges, we're, we're accountable to each other. So in a situation where there's, there's party balance and Townships and cities and counties are passing resolutions at the moment to get party balance on those absentee ballot boards as well. Remember, we have that forty-six. That's a whole other. We got to jump yeah. into that too. Uh, so, but you know, you said twenty thousand votes. Um, right now, maybe half of that number will vote in person. I think most people, if you can, should vote in person. Yeah. Um, even there, because of the machine count, it's not secure. But that does bring up this 46-day absentee period as well. And my pitch to county election officials so far has been, well, you talk about how difficult this is and how time-consuming and how we need to get training done for you know, a number of people. Um, to your point, there will be a lot of people ready to make sure this is safe and accurate and reliable. But Going forward, if we also remove that 46-day period and have a one- or two-day election, yeah. that's saving a lot of work for those county election officials as well.